Peace and love, peace and love. What's going on, everybody? D minor L here, bringing to you another crypto walk. It is great to be back, feeling good, you know, in good health. Um, you know, missed last week, but Leah and Afia, you know, they held it down. Most definitely appreciate them holding it down. Uh, and still bringing y'all that good information. But uh, before we get started, do me a favor. Click that like, share, or subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Like so we can spin that YouTube algorithm. And share this with a, share this with a friend or share it with your family. Um, also, do me a favor, family. Can you hear me? Can you hear me loud and clear? Please put it inside the comments. If you can, great. If you cannot, let me know so that I can get the sound fixed. But we're just going to get caught up from, uh, you know, last week. Last week, our third topic for crypto walk was cryptocurrency and understanding what cryptocurrency is. <coughs> so make sure you got your pen and you got your paper ready. As a matter of fact, go ahead, grab your pen, and grab your paper, and I'm going to invite a few guests out, all right? Once again, mic check. Can y'all hear me loud and clear? If you can hear me, please put a uh, a wife for yes in the comments. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. I might be able to do a okay, awesome, awesome, cool. Let me see if I can get my co host in here, and then we're going to go ahead and get started on what cryptocurrency is. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. So what is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a form of payment uh, that can be exchanged for goods and services utilizing uh, digital money that is secured through cryptography. Cryptography deals with, you know, numbers, codes. What's going on, Fear? Numbers, code, codes, alphabets. It's, it's basically just coding, <clears throat> right? So we're going from the physical tender that you and I normally know, which is, uh, you know, paper money. You know, you got the, you know, uh, Japanese yen, U.S. dollar, British pound, or whatnot. But when we start talking about cryptocurrency, we're talking about uh, Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin, Solana, uh, XRP, uh, XLM, you know, various coins. Um, it's actually over 10,000 different cryptocurrencies on the planet, right? And really how you determine the best cryptocurrencies from the 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 I don't want to curse, but the shit coins, right? Is from the market cap and the supply. So when you have okay, 
money is based off of supply, okay? Gold and silver, all of that, they hold their value because they're based off of supply. So when you have a cryptocurrency that has a trillion something coins, it's going to take that coin a whole lot longer to reach, you know, that one cent area, you know, two cent, two dollars. It's going to take it a while to gain appreciation because you have over a trillion, a trillion of these cryptocurrencies on the market versus when you have cryptocurrencies where you might have like, uh, you know, like a million something of them, 200 million of them, 500 million of them, you know, uh, you're barely touching that billion area, that trillion area, right? The less cryptocurrency you have, the more people that are grabbing this cryptocurrency and acquiring this cryptocurrency is going to drive the value of that cryptocurrency up. Bitcoin is the only cryptocurrency that can really do what it's doing right now, where it has over, uh, I think it's like a billion in, in supply right now. But I think it's over, I'm not going to say 80%, but uh, I have to look up those numbers again to get those, give you the correct numbers. But Bitcoin, a lot of its supply is on the market right now. You have countries, you have uh, corporations, you have uh, you know people around the world that are holding cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency has been in the game for a long time. It's the grandfather of the game. And it's what the other cryptocurrencies want to be like. All right. But a lot of other cryptocurrencies, they just can't be like Bitcoin with a trillion in the supply and they just don't have the interest or the demand. So it's a, it's a supply and demand game, you know? You go to Krispy Kreme, everybody want the doggone hot glazed donuts, right? They running out of the hot glazed donuts, the hot glazed dozens, right? Price might, you know, variate slightly between the first and the last. You see what I'm saying? And that's how we're looking at cryptocurrency. The price and value may vary based off of its demand and how many people already have it. All right. So right now, the actual bit, not Bitcoin, but the crypto market right now is worth about around one point two trillion dollars right now. One point one to two trillion dollars right now. Mm -hmm. So you want to get in the game. Get in, and we'll get in where you fit in at because the value of this cryptocurrency is not going nowhere but up. It seems like ever since Bitcoin got about this little slump that it was in, it has been doing nothing but going. And everything else has been following the same thing. Uh, Ethereum is doing the same. Um, a lot of your favorite coins like XLM, XRP, um, SoCoin. Um, excuse me, Sidecoin, they're all doing the same thing. They're going up in value. Why? Because more people are grabbing cryptocurrency. More people want to have that privacy and control over their money. And that's why so many people are invested in cryptocurrencies at this moment, because they want privacy and they want full control over their money and they want to protect their value from bad government decisions. You know, that's why a lot of people get into gold and silver as well, because they want to protect the value of their money from bad government decisions. They want to protect it from inflation as well. And they want to be able to do good business. And if you're a business owner, I'm going to tell you right now, doing business with crypto is going to be great for you because it don't cost to 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 pay in crypto, like how it costs to pay in the dollar. You don't lose as much as, as you lose in the dollar. You don't have inflation as much as you have in the dollar. So the best cryptocurrencies right now by market capitalization is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance Coin, and Tether. I'm just going to give you those five right now. All right. And Cardano. Uh, Look, do your research on these cryptocurrencies. 
the beautiful thing that I like about these cryptocurrencies is that they have what is called use case. All right, make sure you write that down. Use case. Use case may be for simple commerce. Bitcoin, Bitcoin is just simply commerce right now. You know, Bitcoin has been that that innovation that brought everybody into this market, that brought everybody into this field. So you you're gonna always respect Bitcoin for what it has done for the rest of the crypto game, right? Ethereum. Ethereum is the silver of the game, y'all. You know, Ethereum is it's just like how silver go inside your remote, your TV, your cell phone, all of that. A lot of these other cryptocurrencies, they're utilizing ERC-20 to get into the space. Binance Coin. Binance Coin is another one that's, that's very independent and has its own ecosystem as well. Tether, very independent, has its own ecosystem, ecosystem of coins. It has the KBTC, the KETH, you know. The Clever Coin, Tron Coin, uh, USDT, etc., and Cardano. Cardano, look, I'm not gonna give you the full game of Cardano, but I'm gonna tell you this: Cardano went from being number five in the world to number three in the world, and I am a happy holder of Cardano. I've been holding Cardano since it's been um, in the sub dollar days. Now Cardano sitting at about around two dollars and fifty something cent. So you might want to get in the game. With that Cardano. Cardano is making some very big moves all over the world. All right. Now you could get with me or you could uh, get with the whole smart system uh, family. Look, invest in yourself. All right. Invest in yourself. This knowledge is knowledge that's going to pay you. Right. So invest in the crypto program so you could get all of this information. You feel me? Because this is where you want to be at. Right now, right here, right now is where you want to be. Crypto wall, smart systems. All right. I can't give you everything, but I could point you into the right direction. And if you want this information on high value cryptocurrencies, the best cryptocurrencies in the game, as far as your investment and your book. Get with us ASAP, Smart Systems Aid. It pays off. All right? Work smarter, not harder. But anyway, why are cryptocurrencies so popular? Well, like I said before, cryptocurrencies, they're popular mm -hmm. because of, one, their value. All right? It's so, so part of none. You know, you could have a cryptocurrency that was 50 cent. Tonight, tomorrow, wake up is a dollar fifty, and you got over a thousand of them, and now your money has grown significantly in value. Privacy, you know, getting away from those central banks, all that ta you know, taxing and you know, garnishments and all of that. And I'm not telling you not to pay your taxes. I'm not telling you at all. But what I am telling you is that there's a smarter way to do all of this to move your money. There's a way smarter way to get things done, you know, uh, as far as being on the other side of the tax code. And that's a whole nother lesson that we could get into on a whole nother day. All right. Uh, cryptocurrencies, they have blockchain technology. You have to understand this is not just money. This is software. All right. This is getting into Amazon when it first came out. This is getting into uh, Microsoft when it first came out. Google when it first came out. Apple when it first getting out. That's what that is the technology that is behind block that is behind cryptocurrency. All right. So once again, it's the privacy, it's the 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 the, the freedom of moving your money without fear of government. Um, blockchain technology, right? Yes, most definitely. The future of currency. This is the future of doing business efficiently right here. You know, I could come and I could buy some apples from you and it won't cost me 50 cents on a dollar to buy those apples from you. It'd be literally pennies on a dollar 
if we if we whatever whatever cryptocurrency you want to charge me and you want to charge me in bitcoin and guess what boom that bitcoin gonna be inside your account and let in minutes and that's another thing that people love about cryptocurrency is that it's fast it's cross borders listen xrp xlm that x family they got some things going on with with, with western union the money ground something else you want to do some research on because now people want to move their money faster and they want to move it more efficiently across borders without having to be charged the arm and leg. If my cousin was in Mexico right now, my cousin got in trouble in Mexico and he needed some money. I wouldn't have to worry about no conversion fees, no none of that, you know, trying to send some money over to get him out of trouble. I could just boom. What cause what is your XRP wallet address? OK, is this right here? Boom. Scan it. Put input, he got the money in minutes and it costs pennies on the dollar versus might take a little while. I got to convert the money. I got to pay some conversion fees. I got to get that Western Union done. All of that stuff. It's a mess, you know. So are cryptocurrencies a good, a good investment? Cryptocurrencies are a good investment. But you have to know what you're doing. This is not something that you just jump into overnight, family. All right. This is not this is not some fly by night. You wanna you wanna you wanna read. Read about what you're doing. Read the instruction manual. All right. Read about the best wallets. Okay. Because that's what's gonna also make your investment good to you. You know, a few classes ago, we talked about decentralized and centralized wallets and what's the difference right and the difference was was that one is private one is not one gives you control of your money one does not one gives you the keys one does not one you own 100 percent the other you do not you understand what i'm saying so you want to be sure that you get the most efficient wallet you know about that wallet you know that wallet secure right another thing that'll make Invest uh, cryptocurrency a good investment for you is if you find ways to secure yourself with VPNs, right? Find ways to secure your passwords. You know, cryptocurrency only becomes something that is not good for you when you're not good to yourself, when you're not getting the knowledge, when you're not getting the information, when you don't store those private keys like how you're supposed to, and now you got thousands of dollars inside your account and now you can't get inside your account because you lost your private keys or somebody got into your account and robbed you blind because you gave your private keys to to them or you gave your private keys to a robot on the internet because they said hey you get a thousand free ethereum right now just give us your private keys no it don't work like that ladies and gentlemen be good to yourself and this investment is going to be good to you if you know what you're doing right Knowing about supply, knowing about the uh, the uh, crypto market cap, you know, these are things that you want to know about. You don't want to go out here and be putting money into this cryptocurrency, thinking, "Oh well, this cryptocurrency reach a thou reach a penny, I'm gonna become a millionaire." But then you go and look at the cryptocurrency uh, 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 supply, and that cryptocurrency has over a trillion something coins in supply and very low demand you just shot yourself in the foot because now you got to wait or you got to pull out and get into a cryptocurrency that actually makes sense so if you want to gain profits right know what you're doing work smarter not harder how do you buy cryptocurrencies well buying mm -hmm. cryptocurrencies is very simple um, there's multiple ways you can actually buy cryptocurrencies. One, um, which is the least, uh, or my least recommended way of doing it is by getting yourself on some Bitcoin from off a of cash app. Look, go get that wallet. All right. Go get that trust wallet, that MetaMask wallet, that clever wallet, go get that wallet. Go through the system that they have provided on there for you. If you have to provide, you have to put in a card or whatever. To get your cars, get your get your crypto situation situated. Get the crypto, right? Don't 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 look for shortcuts, right? I'm not I'm not going to tell you who 
who to go to and who not to go to. But I am going to tell you this. Make sure that you go to a private broker a through a private wallet, right? You don't want to go through certain programs that's going to report back to the government about what it is that you're doing because that just knocks out your privacy. That knocks out the decentralization. And once again, I'm not telling you not to pay your taxes, but if tax avoidance, which is an actual term, right? If tax avoidance is what you're looking for, that you don't want to go through these 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 entities that are going to report to the government that you're buying Bitcoin or you're buying Ethereum, and they're telling them the amounts that you're getting it, and now at the end of the year you got to get a 1099, which get which takes me into the next thing, which is are cryptocurrencies legal? Cryptocurrencies are legal, all right? Cryptocurrencies are legal on every continent. Now, you may have certain exchanges that are being blocked because of their activities, but cryptocurrency are being are being used by governments, they're being used by banks, they're being used by corporations, all right? How to protect yourself. Private keys. Always store those private keys. Don't email them to yourself. Write them down. Write them down three or four times. Put them in a safe. Put them in three or four different locations. Whatever you need to do to secure your cryptocurrency, right? Do it. Secure your bag. Lock your bag down. VPNs for those wallets. Secure connections for those wallets that you have. All right. Don't be going through nothing that's that's going to backdoor you. Right. Secure browsers. Um, uh, 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 duck. What is it? Duck. 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 Go. That's a very good um, browser. It's a secure browser as well. There's various crypto browsers out there that you could utilize. Also, there's one called crypto browser uh, where you're actually mining Bitcoin while you're browsing on a secure network at the same time. So that's something else you might want to take a look at, right? Um, so secure those keys, secure your browser, secure that knowledge. Keys, browser, knowledge. And you'll be just fine in the crypto game. I have not had any problems. I've been dealing with crypto for like the last three, four years, right? I haven't had any problems with anybody stealing my crypto, anybody getting into my wallets. I haven't lost a wallet. If I ever had to take a program off my phone, get a new phone, I had my keys, right? Because remember those keys, once you take those keys, you put them in, you get back into your account. You see phrases or your private key. All right? Well, look, family, get in the game. Get in the game. These numbers starting to get real. As you can see, Bitcoin slapped 50K. Uh, yeah, so uh, Brittany with the keys, right? Keys are your private um, your private keys, which is your seed phrases or your um, or your uh, 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 private key uh, seed. Your private key seed is a real long. It's a real Real large so with numbers and alphabets. Your seed phrases is 12 words. Your wallet, when you go set your wallet up, it's going to give you 12 seed phrases. Some wallets give you 24 of them, right? So you go, you take those seed phrases, write them down in the order that you send them, that you read them, right? Write them down three or four times, put them up, put them in a notebook, hide them from yourself, put them on top of the refrigerator, in a cabinet, whatever you need to do. But make sure that you have those seed phrases secure. Now, if you don't have seed phrases, guess what that means? If you don't have your private keys, guess what that means? You do not own your crypto. So if you got a Coinbase wallet, you are, you do not have your crypto in your custody. Your crypto is on the exchange. And that's another thing. Never leave your crypto on the exchange. Take your crypto mm -hmm. off of these exchanges Put them inside a private wallet. Get a get a, a a nano ledger, you know. 
Um, get you a get you get you trust wallet, clever wallet, MetaMask. Those are my top three. All right. And if you want to want cold storage, physical storage, get one of those one of those nano uh, ledgers as well. But uh, <clears throat> if there are any more questions, family, I'm going to go ahead and break up out of here. But look, work smarter, not harder. We're looking for you. Come join the family. Look, we got a fee on Tuesday with Forex. We a big family. We're doing some great things over here. You know, we got we got a team for the knowledge. Crypto walk. You know what I'm saying? We got these Forex courses on on uh, Tuesdays. You know, we got we got people showing you how to be your own boss. I mean, it's some great things going on, but you got to plug in. So plug in with us at Smart Systems, right? And I mean, look, knowledge costs. If you went to college, knowledge costs. Hell, if you went to school, middle school, elementary, whatever, right? All of that costs money. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, pay the little investment and get in where you fit in. Because guess what? This is an investment that is going to pay you forever. And it's going to keep you working smarter and not harder. My name is D-Minor Family, and I appreciate you all for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe, man. We got to keep this YouTube algorithm going. We got to keep this good news going out here, y'all. So please make sure you share this with your family, your friends. Go back and like and subscribe so that you do not miss the next crypto walk or you don't miss the next smart system broadcast. Because I'm telling you, Afia, she got us tomorrow. She got us tomorrow with that Forex. So you got to be here. You got to make sure that you turn that bell, hit that bell button too. Hit that bell button so you can get those notifications when smart systems is on. Let's get it, fam. Peace.